What is going on everybody? Matt with Outdoor Believing here and we are back and today we are curing some salmon skein. I was lucky enough yesterday to go out with a couple buddies and we ended up getting a couple nice salmon and we ended up harvesting the skein from them. The skein is something that we use for bait here in Michigan in the fall uh, for salmon, for steelhead in the spring, um, for any type of trout really. So we're going to cure this up, we're going to preserve it, and we're going to be able to use this throughout the winter. Um, I can't be more happy to have this right now. What you can do with this is you can cure it in the skein um, and use it in chunks, or you can uh, actually take the eggs out of the skein if you're very careful, and you can cure it that way and then tie it in bags. It's really up to you. Uh, this time we're going to cure it in the skein, um, and we're going to be using some uh, Ponskis, Baraxel fire in the orange color. Um, we're going to see how this turns out and hopefully we have a lot of nice skein for this upcoming fall because fall is right around the corner. Salmon are just starting to run up the rivers. Um, the first run already is in just a little. So the big run's coming real soon and this is the perfect time to get this going. So first thing that you want to do, you're going to take the skein. It's in a membrane here. Um, and that's what holds all the eggs together. They're not loose yet, it's early. They don't get loose until they get in the river. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of run up this seam of the, the skein sack and we're gonna break it open. And then we're gonna take from the bottom side, we're gonna kind of put a little bit of pressure and kind of push the eggs out. They're kind of in layers in here. And we're doing that so we can get the cure in between all these layers so all these eggs cure evenly. Do the same thing with this one. And then this one. Get those out. Get that out. All right, so those are all out. Those are ready to go. So really important thing here is preparation beforehand when you get the fish. It is really important to bleed your fish out as soon as possible. If you can get it in the boat, cut its gills, let it bleed out right away, that's gonna be best and then put the fish on ice. That's gonna keep a lot of the blood out of the skein. Um, as you can see, these fish were bled out really nice. There's no blood really in between that. Um, the blood doesn't cure as well and then it can actually spoil the eggs a little bit. So clean your fish, or bleed your fish, then ice it and clean your fish, and then keep the eggs in uh, the refrigerator for a short period of time. One to two days before you cure it is about max. If you can do it right when you get home, that's even better. All right, we're at the next step. Here we go. We got the eggs already separated up so we can get the cure in between them all um, and make it for a nice even cure. We're gonna open the, um, the Baraxel fire and we're just gonna do a nice even coat all the way down. Paraxifier is one of those things that you can, um, it's, a, it, it's not as critical as to how much you put on the eggs. Um, you wanna get enough to cure them, but overdoing it's not really gonna hurt them. So we're getting this done on both sides. We're gonna do this side first. And this is gonna make them nice, bright and orange. You can get different colors. You can get pink, you can get red. I think you can get uh, blue too, I'm not really sure. But then we're gonna do the back side to make sure that skein um, holds up. So this will actually tighten that skein up and hold them on there a little bit better. We're gonna rub it on the skein a little bit. Make sure it gets in there. Flip this one over, same thing. All right. You can already tell it's starting to get in the eggs a little bit and change their color. This one's really thick, so I'm gonna make sure it gets down in there. All right, a little bit more right there. And we're good to go. 
All right, so now that we have the eggs nice and coated, we're actually just gonna take a couple Ziploc bags and we're gonna throw them in here. Actually, I'll just need one. And then what we're gonna do is zip it shut Leave a little bit of air in it, and then just kind of mix it around a little bit more to get that, that cure all throughout. And then what you're going to do is you're going to leave this <clears throat> at room temperature. Um, I've done this in the past where I put it right in the fridge um, and it doesn't work as good. You want to leave it at room temperature. Um, for like 24 hours and then after that 24 hours is up you're gonna put it in the fridge for another 24 hours and in between that time you're gonna you're gonna notice that first 24 hours at room temperature you're gonna notice a lot of juices coming out of the eggs um, and it's the process that it has to go through the juices are gonna come out and then don't think that you messed up because you didn't uh, the juices are actually gonna get reabsorbed into the egg and they're gonna get that nice orange color to them um, and then once you throw them in the fridge, they're really going to start and firm up perfectly and they're going to be ready to go. You can, uh, after that, you can just cut them into the size chunks you want and you're going to be ready to store them. Some people will actually preserve them in mason jars. They'll throw them in the fridge. Uh, that'll last for a month or so, maybe a little longer depending. Um, you can freeze these once they're cured. I know uh, that I personally freeze some of my, at least half of this when I'm not using it. Um, and that's gonna uh, last a lot longer, a year, two years, depending. Um, I vacuum seal mine. I vacuum seal it to a point. I don't take all the air out because it'll actually break the eggs a little bit, so you gotta be a little careful with it. Vac vacuum the air out just a little bit and then seal it. You can also do it with a straw in a bag. If you just put a straw in here, suck all the air out, and then uh, basically roll it like a burrito, throw it in the freezer, and they're good to go for a year or so. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, but I'm excited. These are going to be great for fishing the river this year. Fall is on us almost. And we're going to be on the rivers fishing these salmon in Michigan here soon. <clears throat> so I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. If I could ask something, just go and hit that subscri subscribe button. It keeps me doing what I'm doing. It helps me out. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for watching. So. Like I said, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button to see when more videos drop. And uh, until next time, you guys have a good one.